think it's time. I think it's time, Raiden. It's time for the hat. <laughs> Happy holidays. Let's get into the video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Christmas season in Mortal Kombat Mobile on Star and Sky Channel. My name is Super Santa. I have a super sign and a Santa hat, so it makes me Super Santa. I don't deliver any gifts, but I do like entertaining people by making fun Mortal Kombat Mobile videos. And if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to this channel. Today we're playing Battle 160 in Dark Wind's Tower, which people said is extremely difficult. And I can see why. So it's a boss battle with Shang Tsung and MK11 characters. Why is it a problem? It's a, it's a problem exactly for the same reason as it's a problem for Battle 200. Which I'm not looking forward to. God, this is like a little test. This battle is going to show me if I'm ready to face Battle 200. Because it also has Shang Tsung. Basically, every time one of my characters dies... The whole enemy team is gonna heal. There is a few ways to combat that. Since uh, since this is not immune, so we can't poison them. There is incurability debuff, which I think my Johnny Cage has a chance to apply in combo ender thanks to uh, Wicked Sister Festive Mask, right? A uh, twenty-two percent to apply incurability to an opponent for ten seconds on combo ender. Now. It is only for an opponent, so it's not for the entire enemy team. So that's why, like, there is a few pieces of gear that can do this debuff for the whole team. I think in the previous tower we had something, uh, let me check. For example, fashion dashing, famous dashing smile, chance to apply your ability to the whole team for 10 seconds of special one. So yeah, the whole team is going to become uh, incurable. So if you're about to die, I mean, again, it's going to be random. So you just use your special one to incure the whole team anyway this is going to be very difficult uh the better way to do it is to uh just keep one character snared do not let them escape and kill them off until they die <laughs> that makes total sense so even if you die and uh for example there is higher chance boss mk11 scarlet is gonna have incurability because my johnny will be able to apply combo ender incurability to her so we're gonna try to do that i'm gonna try to keep them all snared we're gonna try to keep them all dead
my god, my mic wasn't working. This stupid cable. I need to replace my, my cable, guys. I'm so sorry. It was probably a lot of fun l looking at me uh, not talking. So basically, my point was, what is the most reliable strategy to stop your enemies from healing when you die? There is one way to do it is incurability debuffs, but those are pretty hard to apply if you don't have maxed out gear. The chances are pretty low and there is a good chance that you are going to not apply and, and then die. Like, for me, it's not as big of a problem because my team is strong enough to take down a full character in one battle before I even die. So, b b what are you going to do if, you're, if your team is not strong enough? You, the only option for you is incurability debuffs or staying alive somehow. So maybe using something like Spec Up Scorpion, Quan Chi is going to be helpful, but then... Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Or you just apply Incurability Debuff to one character, and as soon as you see there's Incurability Debuff, you just die, and then go do another round. I honestly don't know. I need to think more about this before the next round, but uh, the, first w the first round went pretty well. Holy crap, everything, everything is breaking. Audio lag, the microphone is not working. Come on, game. The first round went pretty well. I managed to snare the guy. So Shang Tsung is actually dangerous. You you do not want to tag on him because he's going to get blind. So I'm going to try to take him down now before. So we're going to do this. I'm going to risk it. I did get blind. Ah, come on. I mean, it's 100%, but I have 30% chance to resist it, I think, from my talent tree. Actually, I'm not sure if it's 30% anymore. Oh, Jade has the same thing. This sucks. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, they're gonna kill me even before I can do anything. Alright, I think Jade is still gonna be easier to deal with than Liu Kang, so we're gonna... Uh, than Shang Tsung. So, my Liu Kang has higher resistance, so he, he will not get most likely uh, blinded when he takes in, so that's good. But he's still... Oh my god, 40%, guys. This is 40%. I swear, boss's numbers are so lying. This is not 40%, it's like 90%. Oh, okay, great. She got to X-ray. Fantastic. Ah, oh, and she healed back to full. And Shang Tsung... Did Shang Tsung heal? I think he did, right? Alright, this is still not over. I think, I think I can deal a lot of damage by the end of this. Okay, I just need to make sure she, that doesn't happen again. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, lady! Relax! Relax and sing a song! Relax and sing with me! La, 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 la. Ah, oh, she just healed. Oh, there is Hex! I forgot there was Hex! I'm so stupid! I I, I, I remember looking at it and saying, thinking, Oh my god, there is Hex on this battle! And then I'm like, oh, there is Hex on this battle. Oh, we all died. They're all healed. Guys, I think they're all now higher in health than they were when I started, right? I think Shang Tsung healed all the way back to full. Oh, actually, no! Wait, so Shang Tsung himself doesn't heal, right? Must read his passive. After after MK11 teammates, active MK11 teammates heal for 25%. Oh, just active! Why the hell did I think the whole team healed? I'm so stupid. I haven't played Shang Tsung in a while. That's what happens. So it's not even that big of a deal. Just make sure you always dime to this. Oh my god! So it's not that difficult to beat this. The only thing you need to do is to make sure to target the same character every round you do. And then try to die to the other character. So do damage to one character and then if, you, if you're close to dying and the next character takes in, make sure you die to him. So yeah, this is, this is good. We're gonna do it in three tries, not too bad. Why did I think the whole team heals? I have no idea. I thought it was worse than it actually is. Well. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. This is what Santa hat does to your brain. It makes it into a candy canes and, and presents and no much brains left. That's that's my excuse. Alright, let's do brutality to the Shang, Shang boy. Oh my god. Can I do bro? Bro, 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 bro. Let me do brutality. Thank you very much. A boom. 
and hello and good night. He should be saying thank you and good night. That's his. Okay, now Jade cannot heal even if she heals somebody. Oh god, I hate you. I hate you from the bottom of my heart, you piece of garbage. Oh god. So this is just a little taste of what's to come at Battle 200, guys. That battle is going to be so much worse. Brutality. Ah, screw it. I'll just kill her like a regular bad person. Also, don't forget about the Hex. Okay, she's not going to heal when I die, right? We're going to do Brutality to her anyway. All right. All right. All right. All right. Please don't heal. Okay, thank God. So when Chainsaw is dead, they don't heal. Okay, 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 okay. Actually... 40%! God damn it! I did! I did! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Gee! I hate you! God damn it! I'm. It might be worse than 200. I hope there's no Jade in 200. Like, what are you supposed to do? I hope there's no Jade in 200, honestly. Die! Die! And it's not gonna kill her. I need to hit her again now. I hate you, Raiden! I hate you, Raiden! Why are you so bad now? Okay. Alright, alright, we're done here. God damn, this battle is insane, man. <sighs> I would be already be at battle 180 probably if, if my game wasn't crashing every freaking time I play. I literally crashed like I lost 10 15 tries in this tower just from the game crashing in the middle of the battle. So annoying. All right, all right. We got a fusion on Dark Mantle. Now it's 2.5 seconds, which has got a little bit stronger. Just a little bit, but it's it, it, it's a slow process, but we're going to get there. We're going to get to 7 seconds in no time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now it's my strongest piece of gear. Awesome. Dark Mantle at Fusion 1. I have Terrible luck with with drops. I literally didn't get a single epic or uh, rare gear yet. N like the only rare gear I got was from the guaranteed drops in 110 on normal tower and now 160 on uh, on this tower. So yeah, very nice Mortal Kombat. All right, so uh, you guys asked me to play a few more battles in here, like 164, 165. We're gonna do a separate video on this for now. This is all I have. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreons and members. For supporting this channel you guys are amazing and i hope you have a happy happy holidays do not let this tower ruin the holidays for you it's fine you get stuck in in one of these insane battles towers get more difficult every time it's fine it's christmas time spend it with your family if you get frustrated in the game just close it go have some fun and then later come back and try again and this is my last words for this video thank you for watching have a wonderful day subscribe for more content and goodbye.